Uh, hello everyone. Uh, so this is a short demo of uh, doing service discovery with console. Uh, console is a service discovery uh, application from HashiCorp. Uh, it does. It has a service registry, uh, health check, load balancer, as well as DNS support. Uh, this is one of the you know comprehensive uh, service di discovery uh, applications that is available currently. Uh, for this demo, we will use a very simple application where I have you know two nginx containers and uh, I have a client Ubuntu container uh, which is going to uh, you know do the web request and the console is going to uh, load balance between these two you know nginx containers and it, sh it would also you know do the health check uh, DNS uh, you know service for this application. Uh, to register uh, the service information, which is in this case the container information to console. So I'm going to use uh, the registrator uh, container. Uh, this is from uh, Glider Labs, and uh, this is again an open source product. And uh, so this would allow uh, the way the registrator works is whenever the container starts or stops, it monitors the Docker events in the Docker socket and uh, registers dynamically to console. After which console will, you know, kind of maintain the servers, uh, you know, do the health check as well as provide uh, DNS. So here, uh, in this for this demo, we'll start both console and registrator as a container. Uh, so I'm starting the two containers, which is uh, the first one uh, is the console. Uh, so here I am exposing uh, port 8500. I'm exposing port 8600 as well which is you know the dns uh, for the dns purposes so this ip address 192.168.0.1 which is my docker 0 bridge ip address so the reason i have done it is uh, the console is providing the dns service so when container uh, does the dns it contacts the docker 0 bridge which is mapped to the you know the console uh, dns service so that is how uh, I'm able to, pr uh, you know, give the uh, the DNS for the container itself. Um, and so this is the uh, registrator container from Glider Labs. So here we have mounted the Docker socket. Uh, so we have put the network as the host, uh, you know, so that it it can access the you know the console uh, the host network. And here we have specified the option internal. So this allows the container IP address to be uh, natively registered to the console. If you don't do internal, uh, the ports and the IP address that would be registered would be the host IP address. So that is, uh, so since we want uh, the, you know, the container, which is, you know, the client container to talk directly using the container IP address, we have used the uh, internal IP address option here. Uh, now that the you know the containers uh, the cons console container itself is started, we can look at the you know the user interface of the console. So now we have not started any services, so we just see the console services inside the uh, you know the console user interface. The main uh, tabs that are of interest is the services, you know the nodes. So in the nodes, I'm going to just see one node because uh, you know I've started console as a single container. But in a production application, it's you know typically we deploy a console cluster. So here, you know, this specifies the key value store and console can manage multiple data centers. So here I have only, you know, one data center. So now that console and registrator started, let's start our three services, the two Nginx containers and one of the Ubuntu container, which is going to serve as the client. Okay, so I've started the three services. Let's look at the options of these three services. The first is the uh, the Ing Nginx container. And here uh, we have specified, uh, you know, the what is the service name? So in this case, I want to expose, you know, the, the service HTTP and the service ID. So these environment variables here uh, will be used by registrator to register with console. And here we have used HTTP check as the health check, so which means uh, console is going to periodically do an HTTP health check to the service to verify that the service is uh, active. And uh, the port number uh, that is going to be exposed is the port 80, uh, which is in which is inside the container. That is that is what console is going to see. 
and uh, this is my second service uh, i have used http2 with a similar uh, kind of environment variable and the last one is the you know the ubuntu container so th this is like uh, uh, my image i have built on top of ubuntu and i have installed uh, you know applications like curl and uh, dig so nothing uh, special with that so we can see the uh, running containers now so we can see uh, you know the three uh, service containers and you know the two console and the registrator container so now let's look at uh, the console itself so here uh, what we should see is okay now we see the two HTTP uh, services on start on these two containers uh, on the port 80 and if you go further down we sh can see that uh, the, the HTTP hill check is uh, passing for these two services uh, to check the DNS so we can do a dig on the uh, you know the docker bridge IP address with uh, the HTTP which is the service name um, and here we have used uh, the serve uh, you know DNS record option so that we can see other than the IP address we can also see the port number here so here we can see that HTTP service is composed of you know two containers one with a dot three and a dot four IP address and both of them exposing uh, you know port uh, 80 here so to demonstrate the load balancing so let's do a ping from uh, the client container to the HTTP service name so if we see that uh, what uh, the IP addresses toggles between dot four and uh, dot three and uh, so uh, so this basically uh, illustrates the load balancing of the request uh, to the two containers I can also do a curl uh, because the service is exposed on port 80 here so console exposes all the uh, you know the configurations and monitoring using uh, rest HTTP interface uh, so now we can uh, so this command basically uh, list all the services um, that is uh, running currently in the console so here we can see that uh, the HTTP service is composed of you know uh, two uh, services dot three and dot four exposing on port eighty with HTTP two and HTTP one. To uh, check that the health check is working, so that also we can you know query by the uh, the REST interface. So here we have you know querying for the health checks, and uh, you know it's saying that you know both the services are passing in the health check, and uh, so any of the uh, servers if the health check it does not pass the service gets automatically removed from this HTTP service the DNS would automatically reflect it uh, so that is the advan that is the advantage by using you know dynamic uh, service discovery uh, thanks for watching the demo